Did you know that up until 1997, it was actually illegal for Cubans to mingle with tourists? It's okay now, though. And today, even Americans are allowed to explore the country that was barred to them for 55 years. This unique Time Warp Island is generally safe and friendly, but there are a few things not to do in Cuba. Number one, don't bring bling. The average Cuban salary is about $20 per month, so don't flaunt your wealth. Walking around with dazzling jewelry and slick smartphones can make you a target to pickpockets. Number two, don't take pics of police. It's illegal to take photos of any military police or airport personnel in Cuba. If you want to avoid unpleasant interrogations from the authorities, don't get snap happy in front of these officials. Three, don't diss Fidel. It is illegal for Cubans to criticize the government. Of course, they may discuss things covertly amongst themselves, but you don't qualify. So don't dare to diss the Castros or communism in casual conversation. Number four, don't blow your nose in public. Cubans consider it to be extremely rude. If you have a cold or allergies, it's best to take care of things in private. Number five, don't fall for the jineteros. A jinetero is a seemingly friendly local that suddenly charges you for assistance you didn't really ask for. Some besiege you with hard luck stories to guilt you into paying more money. This also applies to the escorts and prostitutes on the island who make a living off lonely middle-aged tourists. Number six, don't forget to bring a few gifts. Local hotel staff and guides appreciate cash tips, but also things like shampoo, school supplies, or canned tuna. Some airlines allow passengers to bring an extra bag full of sundries like this for humanitarian aid purposes. Number seven, don't get shortchanged. The official local currency is the CUP. However, you can't use it. Tourists have to use the CUC, but there's a 13% exchange fee when converting US dollars. So just bring euros, Canadian dollars or sterling. Also, beware of Hinateros offering to exchange with you on the streets. Even shopkeepers are notorious for shortchanging and switching CUP for CUC. Eight, don't take unlicensed taxis. There are lots of vehicles on the street operating as taxis. But not all are licensed or metered. To be safe, tourists should stick to these. To avoid falling for any scams. Number nine, don't forget cigars. John F. Kennedy famously stocked up on 1,200 cigars before imposing the 1962 embargo. After 50 years, Americans can now legally bring back $100 worth of tobacco and alcohol. Number 10, don't do drugs. Cubans can receive the death penalty for drug consumption. Tourists, however, can be sent to maximum security prison. Most important of all, don't delay coming here. Cuba is a magical country you'll want to see before the word gets out.